All right, so here is the overview of my sales engineering workstation. I'm just kind of come down in here and peek in. So this is the, the desk where I sit. You see we have a couple of 24 inch monitors suspended on some Amazon Basics arms. On the left you have the MacBook Pro up on a riser stand. I can still access things like Touch ID, things like that. It's kind of nice. Now, I represent a, um, a, an application that end users would use for sales enablement so they can access the right content, the right time to discover, present, and share that content with their uh, active engagements. And so that's primarily done on mobile devices, uh, iPad and Android devices. And so those are really always at my fingertips and we mirror those onto the screen, which then gets uh, broadcast through the virtual meeting platform, whether it's Zoom, WebEx, GoToMeeting, Microsoft Teams. And so this is a really handy setup. Now you see just below my center monitor there, I actually have an audio interface. And below that is a wireless microphone receiver. I actually wear a lavalier microphone on my shirt. It's nice and portable. Above, I'll show you in just a second, I actually have an overhead microphone as well if, um, if I run out of batteries in the lavalier, things of that nature. So um, I actually really enjoy the vertical mouse as well. It's uh, really ergonomic and it, it helps sort of release uh, some of the tension that I have in my wrists over time. So um, just something to, to keep in mind that when ergonomics is really important when we spend a lot of hours here demo prepping and things like that. So uh, overhead we actually have a continuous fluorescent light which helps with the you know sort of illuminating the video feed and I'll just kind of come around to the camera side of house. This is a kind of a cinema camera but it actually works really really well for streaming through these video conference platforms with super high quality. So I have a fast lens on that that sort of blurs out the background, really prioritizes the subject, it's connected to an AC power adapter. The HDMI feed is sent into an Elgato cam link that converts it into a webcam feed so that the computer can send that off to Zoom or GoToMeeting or what have you. Could do a little bit better with cable management. Um, from here, you get a little view of the overhead microphone as well from the background. And I'll just kind of jump over here. You can see what it look like, looks like in the background. Now you'll notice one sort of pro tip is the blacked out curtain in the window because throughout the day, you'll actually get a lot of backlighting, which will kind of influence the image there. So something in the background to spice it up for those who are watching. Um, ends up being a really nice little workstation. You need a comfortable chair, you need ergonomics, you need quick access to you know, your tools. I like having multiple monitors because I can put my presentation notes up on a second screen, keep my communication tools handy such as Slack, even iMessage if you will, having multiple Demonstration devices, so for me that's iPad and the Android device ready at any time. Sometimes I'll actually, I will print out notes to keep to the side and usually I'll keep a spiral notebook to take notes as I'm conversing with, you know, with prospects and, and customers. So that's a quick overview of my virtual meeting demonstration setup and where I do my work on a daily basis. All right, I wanted to give you a quick snapshot of what the camera feed sees after that virtual workstation tour. So this setup has really been optimized to deliver an engaging ex client experience when we're sharing our screens and our camera feeds during remote presentation settings. If you consider how much energy and effort you put into traveling to go and meet your prospects and clients in the past, maybe there's layovers, multiple flights to get there, lots of preparation. If we took 10% of that energy and put it into making a really professional and engaging virtual and remote presentation workstation, it would have lasting impact for you professionally, 
and for your business and your future clients. So I hope you might have learned something here in this and let me know if you uh, are going to borrow anything and maybe apply some of this to your own scenario.